March 23rd, 2019, chemtrails over South Scottsdale, the layered effect down there, they had X's in the sky, and we have parallel lines showing that there's probably an orb paralleling. So we used to have blue skies here this time of year. It's all clattered over with lines and chemtrails and solar radiation management, aerosols, whatever you want to call it. There, I don't know if you can see the lasers pointing at the sun, they get very blurry, but through the tree you see more chemtrails up in the sky as I'm walking here. Just, just trying to get my car to run a couple of errands, and here I am bombarded with this horrible milky clouded sky. You can't even see any blue anywhere. It's like so artificial and so uh, feathered out, unnatural. There's a big one. I really love these chemtrails over my house here. What they have against me, there's a passenger plane coming underneath the ectosphere. And they get all that in their uh, vent system. And they call it fume incidence. It's a lot different than fume coming from the exhaust is different than uh, these chemtrails and aerosol chemicals which they list in many, many military documents of what's in it and laboratory analysis of capture plants. So here we have the oil lines paralleling the chemtrails. I w they were spraying all day yesterday and the day before and feathering it out. I just couldn't run and get the camera every time I saw one, but this is a very bad milky sky here for these passenger planes and these poor pilots to have to deal with there. They don't even know what the truth of the matter is here. So, and, uh, I've seen the 5G duck bills here, so I know that they're using a lot of our beautiful desert here and turning it into some kind of experiment in intentional pollution. 